in the final, uh, how you can answer it's such a great battle against us. Yeah, it was, a, it was a tough one, no? um, 7-6 in the third. I think we both uh, raised our level when when it counted and obviously very happy to be to be in the final. It seemed like a pretty high quality match. Just talk about where you thought the level was. Yeah, it was uh, high quality. No, I think we both served very well in important moments. Um, you know, I tried to stay there mentally. Um, I was breakdown first, breakdown second, and trying to break back somehow. Um, you know, he's an incredible server. He 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 was played very aggressively, especially with the backhand side. So I tried to um, read his game a little bit, which is very tough against him, and trying to use these small chances I had. And uh, you know, the the breaker can go both ways. Um, I played a bit, you know, with with the gut feeling I had, trying to go for shots, and and so that was a positive day. Yannick, uh, congrats on the win. You had a nice, loud celebration after the win, louder even than sometimes when you win the title. So I was wondering what kind of emotions you've been feeling with some long, tough matches this week in tough conditions. Yeah, I mean, it's a great tournament, no? Uh, tomorrow I have one, uh, one final again. So in any case, it's, it's, it's a good tournament. And uh, I'm very happy to, to be back in a final. For me, it means a lot. And... Uh, you know, playing against Sasha, you know, the head-to-head, he -head, was up quite a lot. And, and, you know, this in your mind, and, you know. But I just, you know, um, trying to understand where where I have to improve still. And, and I think today we saw where where I still have to improve. And, you know, just going for for the process I, I have to go through. After three hours of tennis, how, how do you feel you came through physically? Yeah, no, physically it's, it's, it's okay, you know. Uh, for sure, uh, playing a little bit in the evening helps, you know, so you don't have to go through the heat. And um, for sure, that's uh, the point where I have to improve the most. Um, that's for sure. Um, but no, I, trying to play with the score sometimes, you know, when you're up, trying to play a bit more aggressive, um, keeping the points a bit shorter, um, you know, trying to do these kind of things, which which you also have to have to learn on the court so i'm very very proud can you look ahead just at both opponents and just maybe talk about them both in case you face them yeah in any case tough match you know final can go both ways uh against francis he he's playing uh, very 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 good and then and showing great tennis in the in the last months um he he has found himself you know, much much better on the court, and he's he's a great mover, um, huge serve. Uh, it's gonna be tough, uh, tough to play against him. And if it's Holger, I think I know him slightly better. Maybe um, you know we we played each other uh, sometimes. Um, you know, uh, amazing talent. You know, he uh, also him uh, incredible serve, and it's gonna be uh, in in both cases, in both scenarios, a very physical match. You know, so you know the the recovery from now on is very important for tomorrow. And yeah, just tomorrow it's it's gonna be you know the the first shots of of the rally are gonna be as important as today. Hi, congrats! Uh, everybody said that the uh, surface of this tournament is quite fast, especially on the center court. So I was wondering uh, what kind of technical or like a tactical adjustment do you make? No, uh, it is quite fast here. Um, you know, the shots, what you can't control, you have to control it in a better way, for sure, the surf. You know, the first shot in uh, in each point is very important. Um, trying to understand what the best returning position is. Uh, and then in point, you have to feel a little bit, no? When, when, when the ball felt like today in the evening, when uh, when the sun went down, uh, the, the ball, you know, slipped a little bit more. Um, and the ball was a bit lower the bounce and then when it's sunny it, it's, it bounces a little bit higher so you know there are different scenarios what what we have to go through and but still you know this is for both for both players so it's um yeah that's it uh yannick i asked this question to jesse pagula um earlier today um what do you think about video replay coming into, you know, both the WTA and ATP based on kind of what happened with, you know, Draper yeah. and uh, Felix Sergio Eliassim the other night? 
Yeah, I mean, for sure, it's 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 gonna be important to have. So you have to the the immediate check. Um, I feel like tennis is one of the rare sports what what doesn't have this this uh, video replay, you know, which which can be crucial, you know, as we saw. Um, this is not the only this is not the only uh, issue we had no we also in the past sometimes this can happen it's it's very tough to see also for the umpires um uh, because it goes very fast you know it's it's then in the <laughs> video replay it's all much slower and then you understand it very fast but you know uh, it's it's sometimes even tough to to visualize uh, as as being a a chair umpire um so yeah it it's, it will be great it's 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 good for for tennis you know that these mistakes cannot cannot happen again occasionally this summer we've seen you grab your hip every once in a while during matches and it just makes me wonder what your threshold for pain is how much are you willing to put up with and how much are you willing to sort of risk no uh um, risking, I won't. I will not risk before U.S. Open or or the bigger tournaments, Grand Slams. Um, for sure, sometimes I feel it. Um, I have to understand what exactly it is at the moment because I feel like it's a different small issue than it was before. But uh, you know, I have to I have to check after after this tournament here. Um, as I said, you know, I was ill for uh, for one weekish. Then I came to Montreal. I played two matches in one day. I haven't had so much time to recover from these two matches, and then coming here. Um, so you know, I put in a lot of hours. Um, it's not. It's not bad. Uh, that's no. It's. It's. I'm not worried yet. So I'm. 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 I'm happy to play, and then you know that's that's the most important. And obviously, you know, trying to be. Uh, in a much more best, uh, better physical shape before the Grand Slam. You know, I have one week, you know, tomorrow is Monday, so I have six six good days, you know, trying to recover and also work on it. So I'm not concerned to be to be 100% in, uh, in US Open. Thank you.